What's going on guys, it's Greg Mikos Dyes, and today we're going to be breaking down what the Tawar Town winners from the last couple years were ranked in high school to see if they were ranked really highly, expected to win the Tawar Town, or if there were some sleeper picks in there. Now the reason we're doing this is September 1st is coming up, that would be the recruiting window opening for 2024's all pro- What is that? I muted it. Uh, the reason we're doing this is September 1st is when the recruiting window opens for 2024s. That's Rising Juniors. Uh, we will be at the Inside the Cross Elite Eight event to cover some of those best recruits in the country, bring you guys GoPro videos and highlights, as well as some coverage on how those recruits get ranked once Inside the Cross puts those rankings out. But I thought it'd be fun to look back at what some of these players were ranked um, back in their classes. So we're going to start off with the most recent Tour Time winner. That's Logan Wisnowskis. He's now currently tearing up the PLL. He was in Maryland, won the championship, um, and his high school rank was, from the class of, I believe, 2016, number 44. So actually pretty low, considering he was one of the most dominant players in college lacrosse for two years, including the Tourton, including the championship, and including now he must be ranked a top five attackman in the PLL. He's been unbelievable. So to see him get ranked at number 44 in high school, a little bit of a sleeper pick there, obviously got a lot better in college. Uh, came out of Boys Latin in Maryland. And a fun fact, the number one recruit in his class was actually Jeff Teat, the Canadian who was also killing it for the Atlas in the PLL. So that was a pretty good recruiting class. The next tour time winner was Jared Bernhardt. He's been blowing up in the news lately because not only did he win the tour time at Maryland, was one of the best players in the country, uh, then he went on to win the Division II football championship as a quarterback, had averaged like five touchdowns a game, and now uh, is playing wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons and actually scored a touchdown in preseason. So to go from the best lacrosse player in the country to the best quarterback in all Division II to one of the best wide receivers, even if he doesn't make the roster, it still ranks him in the top 100 wide receivers in the world. Those three things are so different. That's such an impressive athlete. So Jared Bernhardt, Toraton out of Maryland, he was ranked in high school number three out of Florida. So very high ranking for Jared Bernhardt. He was also a really highly ranked uh, dual option quarterback or triple option quarterback. So uh, that makes sense. He's just a freak athlete. He's just a monster. Unfortunately, 2020 had no tour time winner. Still sad thinking about that. So we're going to go back to 2019 with Patrick Spencer, another lacrosse athlete having success in other sports. He won the tour time with Loyola and now is actually in the G League hoping for a spot in the NBA, is getting some trials with some pro teams, I understand. So another player, two and three years, winning the Tourton, who are not currently in pro lacrosse, which is sad for pro lacrosse, but pretty cool for these players individually. So Pat Spencer was ranked at number six in high school, and he's also from BL. So that's two out of the three last years that a tour time winner has come from Boys Latin that we cover a lot here in Maryland. And then the number one recruit in his class, also from the MIAA, Ryan Conrad, who went to win a championship of Virginia, now playing two-way defensive midi in the PLL. So that was pretty spot on with that number one recruit for Conrad. Pat Spencer, number six, that's pretty high. That makes sense. Now we're into the 2018 tour time winner. That was Ben Reeves with Yale, pretty much led that Yale team through its first uh, uh, first ever national championship, won the Tour Time, played a couple years in the PLL, was really doing well, but I think that everybody knows he was pre-med, becoming a doctor, extremely smart, and had other career aspirations, even though I think he still might have been on some rosters, Pat, right, this year, a little bit, bouncing in and out, yeah. certainly good enough to be a pro lacrosse player. His rank, out of high school, out of New York, was number 77. So I think some of the reason we're doing this is to show that your rank doesn't really matter that much. You could be ranked number 77 or even lower, still become the best player in the entire country, win the national championship in college. So Ben Reeves, way underrated at number 77 in high school. Fun fact, the number one recruit in his class was Shaq Stanwick, headed to Hopkins. All right, we've got three more. 2017 was Matt Rambo on that Terps championship team, along with Colin Heacock. Everybody knows about Rambo. He's been a beast ever since then, crushing in the PLL, multiple championships in the PLL to follow up his championship in Maryland. Uh, he's also one of the funniest guys in the PLL. I love watching him play. And he's going to be competing for a championship again this year. They're the favorite, again, believe it or not, with the Whip Snakes. Uh, makes a lot of sense. He was number two. 
So right on point there for Rambo out of LaSalle in PA. Uh, Rambo probably has at least a couple more pro championships left in his career before he's time to hang him up. Next up, we've got Dylan Malloy. He was at a Brown, unbelievable player, took that team to the Final Four, if you remember correctly, played on a broken foot in the playoffs. Just a beast. Then he went to the MLL, was a dominant player there. When the PLL and the MLL split, he stayed with the MLL, uh, was really good for that year where they had the bubble. Then it seemed like he may have gotten boxed out of the PLL a little bit, but he's back now and absolutely tearing it up. He's on the Chrome, right, Pat? Mm -hmm. And has been a big reason the Chrome is having such a good season. So Dillamoy, Dillamoy, on. Dylan Malloy out of St. Anthony's in New York, that's Long Island, was ranked number 72. So this is your second tour time winner to be ranked in the 70s in high school. Pretty crazy there. And then finally, we're gonna wrap it up with the GOAT, Lyle Thompson. This one doesn't leave a lot to the imagination. Also, Lyle goes without introduction. He's the man, best attackman in college lacrosse by many people's standards. Uh, unfortunately, on a Kansas team that didn't make the playoffs this year, Lyle, obviously ranked number one in high school, back-to-back uh, -to -back Tour champion, I think the first and only to ever do it. Uh, number one in high school, unbelievable, fun to watch. Hopefully he'll have a little bit more success, find the postseason next year in the PLL. So I think as a wrap-up, we're getting ready to rank the 2024s. We'll bring you more content and highlights with that. This is really fun to do because I honestly have no idea what these guys were ranked in high school. And to see uh, those couple guys come out in the 70s and then be so good in college was a lot of fun. So like if you liked it, let me know in the comments if you want us to make more recruiting-style videos as we get further into the year. And have a great day.